Bill, thank you. Michigan's 23rd casino opening its doors to the public today. The Firekeepers Casino now employing more than 1,500 people. 24 Hour News Ace Tony Talia Villa is live at the ca casino in Battle Creek where some waited for hours before the doors opened today. Tony? Sue, there's no official head count of how many people have passed through these doors yet today. It opened to the public at about 10 a.m., but it's been quite crowded considering the fact that the public opening wasn't announced to the public. We spoke with a woman who got here four hours before the doors opened. I didn't go to bed last night. She was too excited. Jan Vandervoort arrived outside the casino at 6 a.m. Still, she wasn't quite first in line. He must have got here at midnight. She'll settle for second. Vandervoort was one of the few here early enough to see the ribbon cutting and be among the first to walk on the floor. This is twice as beautiful. I haven't had a chance to look at all of it yet. No more guns. All of it is more than 100,000 square feet of gaming with more than 2,600 slot machines, 78 game tables, a 120-seat poker room, plus restaurants and nightlife. More than 1,500 people now work here, including some members of the band that owns the casino, the Nottawasepi Huron Band of the Potawatomi Indians. This is going to improve the funds that we can give for our education, for our youth, uh, increase the, uh, the programs for our elders, uh, improve our housing. It's a facility more than 10 years in the making, one that faced some opposition, including an environmental lawsuit, now adding to a growing number of gaming facilities in Michigan. It's going to save us so much in gas money that I can spend at the fire keepers now. Cars continuing to stream into this casino at this hour. Coming up tonight at 6, we're going to take a look at one of the economic impacts of this casino, that employment in a community that's seeing a relatively high rate of it. We are going to be back with you at 6 o'clock, live in Emmett Township in Calhoun County. Tony Talia 24-Hour News 8.